Hello my friends, hello, it's Matthew Street and welcome to my channel. As always, I truly appreciate you being here and folks, let the speculation begin. We are in the beginning of 2024, a pivotal year because we have just had the, the bliss, the joy of receiving the red and blue albums in all their glory, remixed with added tracks, expanded to three LPs. It was just amazing. What an amazing end to 2023. And the cherry on top of the cake, now and then, finally, the last Beatles song released, too much acclaim, critical acclaim, commercial success, made the top 10. I mean, unbelievable. What an end to 2023. But of course, that leads to speculation. <laughs> like any Beatles fan out there, we're all like, well, what have you done for me lately, right? <laughs> That's what we all think. So although 2023 was a triumph, it was great and we loved it. Moving on to 2024, what are we going to get next? There's a lot of speculation. So let's go through it all and I'll be out of here, I promise. But let's do it. Let's do it. So with John Lennon, we kind of know what's happening. All right. We got the great... Plastic Ono Band, Super Deluxe. We got the great Imagine, Super Deluxe. We got the great Sometime in New York. Uh, no, we didn't get Sometime in New York City. That was kind of like brushed to the side, as a lot of us speculated it would be. We could, we could spend a whole video talking about that, why it's not here, and why it will probably never come. We could do that, but let's not. Let's move on. So Sometime in New York City was brushed to the side, and in 2023, did we get the big 50th of Mind Games? No, we did not. But we're going to get it on its 51st anniversary because, as we've been told, coming this spring will be the big super deluxe with all kinds of packaging and remixing and added tracks and bonus material. Mind Games is coming from John Lennon's estate. Yes, it is, folks. So look for that in the spring of this year. However, there is a 50th anniversary coming up in the Lennon universe, and that would be Walls and Bridges. Now, I don't think we're going to get two in the same year. I can't see it happening. I can't see how we're going to get Mind Games, which is coming in the spring, and then, like, later this year, you know, end of 2024, we're going to get a Walls and Bridges. I highly doubt it. Maybe next year? I just can't see how they're going to do two in one year and expect them both to be viable and be commercial successes and sell. They could. They could. There's a lot of rabid Beatles and John Lennon fans out there that are clamoring for these two releases. So maybe, but I see this coming maybe a year or so from now. But I do see it coming because it's such a fantastic, great Lennon album. Have to do it eventually. And I love that back cover, by the way. But Mind Games is coming in the spring, so we have something to look forward to from the Lennon camp. Now let's look at the Paul McCartney universe, all right? That Paul, though, he's full of surprises. Just when you think he's, you know, he puts out the, the Flaming Pie Super Deluxe and Archive Series Flaming Pie, and you think, okay, we're going to get London Town next. We're going to get back to the egg next. He pulls a fast one on us, and he puts out that big singles wooden box crate of all the 45s on vinyl. He does that. And then he puts out, okay, now we're going to get London Town. Now we're going to get back to the He comes out with the Tri-Color McCartney 3 release not too long ago. So Paul's full of surprises. He's always pulling the, the fast one on us. But I think we could possibly get London Town or Back to the Egg now. What do you think? Now that things are back on track, the dust is settling from, you know, these other releases, could we be finally getting a Super Deluxe Archive Edition? Will they be together and linked? I hope not. I hope we're going to get London Town and its own freestanding Super Deluxe release. And I hope Back to the Egg will get a Super Deluxe Archive freestanding release. However... That's what I would think should be next, coming in 2024. But Paul, he likes to mix things up. He doesn't, he doesn't do what you think he's going to do. So could he pull another fast one on us? 
Could we get something like a memory almost full archive super deluxe set? Or could he go real crazy and go with something that's back in time a little further and we get a press to play, something you don't expect, a press to play archive super deluxe set? Possibly, could it be chaos and creation in the backyard? Maybe something like that, all right? Not sure. So Paul, he's full of surprises, but I have to think we're gonna get something from him in 2024. Now, George, George is a little different. He's the dark horse in this race. And, and when I say that, no, I don't think we're gonna get a dark horse super deluxe set like we did for All Things Must Pass. I don't think we're gonna get an extra texture. I don't see that happening. The logical thing would be getting Living in the Material World super deluxe set. But, you know, they had they lost an opportunity there with 2023 slipping by on the 50th of this great album. However, could they have said, let's hold off on it because of all the hubbub and excitement with the red and blue from the Beatles and now and then and all that stuff was happening. So they said, let's put it on the back burner. So could we in 2024 finally see the follow up to All Things Must Pass and a big super deluxe set? Could it be coming? It's possible. It's possible. It doesn't have to be on the 50th. You know, the Beatles and their camps and universes are missing some of these big milestone years. I don't think they care about that so much. So we could see living in the material world. However, the George Harrison camp could pull a fast one on us too. They could say, switch it up a little bit. Hey, you know, everything doesn't have to be in order and on the 50th or on the 40th or a big anniversary. Could we see something like a George Harrison 1979 release, which is celebrating its 45th anniversary this year? They could skip over living for now. Living in the material world could be put on a back burner. Probably not. I would think that would be the next one. But they could pull something like this for the 45th of this album. And we get a big super deluxe with bonus tracks remixed and all that on this album. Possible. Or they could go really crazy and say, what is the next really big iconic album after All Things Must Pass? Living in Material World, great album. George Harrison album, great album. 33 and a third from 76, great album. But the big one, the one I think is the big, if you got All Things Must Pass at number one, what is the next iconic album in the George Harrison catalog? I think it's this one. I think it's Cloud Nine. They could jump from All Things Must Pass, Super Deluxe, to something like this in 2024. What do you think? I think it's possible. I think they could come back to some of those other albums, Living in the Material World and the earlier ones, and get right on to this one. And if they, you gotta say, this is fairly recent, I mean, fairly recent in recent times, 1987, late 87, but it's in a lot of people's radar, a lot of people that love 80s rock and roll and love George Harrison and love the Beatles. This is the one. If they put out a big package for this, like they did with All Things Must Pass, with extra tracks, bonus material, they could put in some live cuts from when George played some of the songs on the Japanese tour in the early 90s. I mean, I think this could be a big seller. This is my pick. This could be a big seller in the George Harrison universe. So I'm hoping for a cloud nine, but I'll take what I can get. Now Ringo, more limited with Ringo. The only one you could really put out for Ringo, they're not gonna do like a, I mean, one I would love would be like Time Takes Time, super deluxe package, and that's not gonna happen. It didn't do well commercially the first time in 92. I don't see the Ringo universe doing something like that. However, even though it's past the 50th, but again, like George is living in the material world, they might have held off on this because of all the hubbub with the red and blue and now and then. So we could finally see a Ringo album from 73 getting a release in, 70, in 2024 Super Deluxe package. I think it would do really well, folks. I think there's enough fans out there, there's enough you know, generated excitement for the Beatles and the solo Beatles now that I could see Ringo's camp putting out this album in 2024 in a super deluxe package. So that's possible. Or what's more likely in Ringo's world is he's probably just gonna release another EP this year, 
you know, EP6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever, whatever he's going to do. But that's my guess what Ringo's going to do. I don't feel confident that this is coming. It could. But I think it'll be another EP for Ringo in 2024. Now, the Beatles themselves. I mean, how do you surpass the red and blue and now and then from last year? How do you, how do you triumph and <laughs> return like that? How do you beat that? Well, you don't. You're not going to beat that. You're not going to surpass all that excitement of a brand new Beatles song, the final Beatles song, and the red and blue, and blah, 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 blah. To me, the next logical choice would be this. Get back on track with the, arc, with the Super Deluxe Beatles archive sets whatever you want to call them. I don't know what you call them. You know, we had Sgt. Pepper. They went in order for a while there. Sgt. Pepper, the White Album, you know, Abbey Road, Let It Be. Then they jumped back to Revolver. Will they jump back one more now to Rubber Soul? This should be the next logical release coming in 2024. Are they going to wait on that? I don't think they care about anniversaries. So why would they wait till 2025 to make a big 60th? I, I just don't see that being a big factor anymore, these anniversary releases. However, this would be the next logical jump back from Revolver. This should be the one. This will be the one everyone's clamoring for. This will be the big seller. But you don't know what the Beatles because you think it's rubber soul, but then they could pull a fast one. This could be a big seller. What about Magical Mystery Tour? If they put out a big, cool... Yeah, remember the Sgt. Pepper release from 2017 with the lenticular cover? They could do something with this one, folks. They could make a cool cover, a cool package with a lot of inserts, extra tracks, remix this album. This could be huge. This could be the big seller. This will be a big seller, but so could this one. So that's something to think about. This could be coming. But then you say to yourself, no, maybe they're going to jump a little bit. You know, not that, you know, every time Bruce Spizer puts out a book, it means it's going to happen because he, he did a Rubber Soul Revolver combo and we got Revolver and we never did get Rubber Soul yet. But he's now working on a Hard Day's Night, Hard Day's Night soundtrack, something new, you know, that kind of a book he's working on now. Could we get something like this in 2024? Big anniversary, 60th. Like I said, I know they're not playing with these anniversaries that much anymore or worried about it, but could this be the one? Is this the big archive coming? <laughs> Super deluxe package, Hard Day's Night. I'll take it. I love it. Give me this one. Give me Rubber Soul. Give me Magical Mystery Tour. I don't care. I want something. And then the Dark Horse. Again, again reference to George. What's the Dark Horse here, though? Peter Jackson. And what's Peter Jackson been hinting at? A lot of different things going on in the Peter Jackson world. But could we finally see this in 2024? Could we see the Star Club tapes with his mal technology and separating tracks and bringing forward things? And could we get a blow your mind sound on the Star Club tapes finally? A complete full Star Club tapes. The Beatles in their raw rocking back to nature state. Could we get this? I hope so. I'll take anything on the Beatles. You give me anything. Give me anything. I'll take it. I'll take it in 2024. Bring it on. What do you all think? There's a lot of speculation, a lot of things to think about with John, Paul, George, and Ringo and the Beatles. And I think no matter what happens for me, it's all good. What do you think? Bye-bye.